wake up after that massive oil spill that's been hammering the Gulf Coast for exactly one month today. There's no apparent end in sight. And joining us now, the administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, Lisa Jackson. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, I guess the basic question is, is this, are we any closer to ending this spill today than we were a month ago? I, I guess we're marginally closer, but the truth of the matter, Wolf, is that none of us can rest, and all of us are frustrated until we stop the oil discussion from the seabed. Is it possible that the oil and the natural gas are going to continue gushing out until August? Well, I, we certainly hope not. I mean, BP certainly has at least one of its plans that say they have to drill this relief well. But there, is, there are plans for this top kill exercise that I think are still scheduled to start on Sunday. That's the next, uh, I guess, rung on the ladder of trying to end this, this nightmare once and for all. Is that the last rung on the ladder before, uh, before the August, uh, in effect, uh, 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 separate uh, drill that, that, that they're working on? Well, you know, they, they have been adapting a bit. I, uh, we're all hoping that this is going to be successful, uh, and they're taking their time trying to do it right. They still have the riser pipe that's inserted. That's working I think still uh, on today, but we're going to just have to keep working this. I mean, you can't give up if it doesn't work. God forbid it doesn't, but if it doesn't, we're going to have to keep pushing them to try other things because we're certainly not going to sit around till August and not try other things. How much confidence do you have in BP? Well, you know, it's confidence. It's sort of a trust but verify situation. We, you know, they have the expertise to have drilled this well. We're expecting them to bring all the resources that they would bear if they were drilling to now stopping this gush of oil and also dealing with the environmental catastrophe that's resulting. Now they've said they're going to pay for it and they said they're going to do it and I got to believe that they understand that there's nothing more important for them to do right now. Should the federal government take over and just sort of kick BP out of this? Does the federal government have the wherewithal to get the job done? Listen, no. I, I, I don't think it's a matter of wherewithal. I think it's a matter of the federal government is in charge. The federal government directs BP on those things that are really governmental, but we also need BP to get in there and bring their resources to bear. The, the vehicles they have at the bottom, the work that they're doing, the scientists that they have. We have scientists with them in uh, Houston. The president's made it clear that every federal resource, no matter wh where it comes from, DOE, DOD, EPA, we're all working very hard, but we need uh, BP at the table. No way we should let them away from that table. And we're not even sure how much oil is gushing out from that hole uh, 5,000 feet below the ocean, uh, down in the ocean. Sylvia Earle, who's a well-known oceanographer, was quoted as saying this, it seems baffling that we don't know how much oil is being spilled. It seems baffling that we don't know where the oil is in the water. Uh, d uh, can you tell us, Administrator, right now, whether we know if it's 5,000 barrels a day, 10,000 barrels a day, 100,000 barrels a day, do we know? No, but we're trying to find out. I, I was on the panel with Dr. Earl. I might, I might, you know, respectfully replace baffling with frustrating. It is certainly frustrating when you're operating in 5,000 feet of water. No one can go down there and put eyes on it. And as uh, Commander Allen said, it's, it's like inner space. You know, we're, we're feeling so frustrated because we're looking at all this remotely. We need to know. We absolutely do. And the president's made it clear that he wants every resource NOAA has brought to bear along with outside uh, expertise to try to make an accurate estimate. The only thing I'll say is we got to make sure it's accurate because I think the American people keep hearing this number change. They want their federal government to give them a number, but we need to take the time to get it right. So even you, the administrator of the EPA, you don't know how many barrels a day are spewing out of there. No, and that's why the president said from day one, we better work on a worst case scenario. So when we look at response, we're responding uh, to the fact that we believe that there are larger volumes coming out. And, you know, even with the case of uh, how we're responding to this bill, people have talked about dispersants. That's been one of the issues much in the news. One of the reasons I've been so hesitant to take dispersants off the table is because we have so few tools to deal with an ongoing. This is an ongoing release. We're almost at... Uh, you know, three, three and a half weeks of release of oil uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a, it's a month, actually. It's 30 days uh, right now. Uh, so when you say you're looking at the worst case scenario for the amount of barrels coming out a day, what is that worst case scenario? Well, you know, we've been working, I, I think it's uh, 60,000 or 70,000 barrels a day wow. is uh, worst case. I, I, you know, don't quote me on the number, but the idea being that we would be talking about so much crude oil coming up that we'd have to deal with the fact that we'd have a long-term uh, 
uh, amount of oil that's going to continue to be a problem in the Gulf. And, you know, that's what's bearing out. We still are hoping for the best. And, you know, I'm from the Gulf Coast region, and I keep telling people, don't, you know, don't bring down people's spirits before we have to. We got to keep being prepared and not let our vigilance down along the coast and in the wetlands. Um, but we also have to, we owe it to them to be doing everything we can out at sea to stop the leak and deal with it and stop it from coming ashore.